Good evening, everyone. How's it growing? That was an amazing performance by the Free Players Ensemble. They're a regionally renowned singing group of adults with developmental disabilities. I want to welcome you all to the Smile Farm's fifth anniversary benefit from our home to yours. I'm NBC4 meteorologist Rafael Miranda, and I'm smiling not because of a great forecast, but because I'm back as your host for the second year. We're here to help raise awareness and support for this incredible organization. As you're digging into your delicious Harry and David dinner boxes, I want to let you know that there's a fabulous silent auction open until about 8.30 where you can bid and win some great items. Make sure to check it out. There are lots of other ways to support and give right on your screen tonight. One impactful opportunity is a Smile Farms Fund a Farmer campaign where you can really see your gifts in action. Did you know that $6,000 will employ a Smile Farmer for one full year? Of course, we're grateful for any size donation. You'll have many opportunities throughout the gala to hear more about how you can give to this special cause. While I've been working with Smile Farms, I've seen firsthand the transformational work they do in our community, including providing adults with disabilities with meaningful work opportunities at farms, urban gardens, greenhouses, and farm stands. What do the Smile Farmers do? Good question. Well, they grow and sell flowers, plants, and produce in their local communities. They have also been busy turning their crops of exotic peppers into artisanal hot sauce called Burnability that you're gonna hear more about later. I can tell you as a hot sauce lover, I'm personally very excited about this new venture. Here tonight to tell us a bit more about this incredible organization is Jim McCann, chairman of the board of 1-800-Flowers.com Inc. and Smile Farms founder and chairman. Jim and his family planted the seed that became Smile Farms just five years ago. Jim, congratulations to you, your incredible family, and all of the Smile Farmers on these years of tremendous growth and impact. Thank you, Raphael. Mary Lou and I enjoy watching your forecast of the weather every weekend on NBC, and we appreciate you helping us celebrate the fifth anniversary. I'm so glad to join all of you from my home this evening in celebrating Smile Farms' fifth anniversary safely and physically distanced with my family, and I hope you're doing the same with yours. Smile Farms has been a family endeavor from the beginning. My brother Chris and I and our families, including our sisters Julie and Peggy, started this organization to help my brother Kevin, and since then we've become a little bit bigger and partnered with some wonderful supporters, an extension of our family. Special thanks to independent group home living IGHL founder and CEO Walter Stockton for his role in bringing Smile Farms to life. And we are also fortunate that Kevin is a part of this special family. Although this year's benefit is different in many ways, our reasons to celebrate remain the same. Our whole community has accomplished a great deal this year under extraordinary circumstances. And a bit of festivity and laughter can go a long way for us all. It's all about community. And we're honored this evening to recognize Rich Daly, Executive Chairman of the Board of Broadridge Financial Solutions for his exceptional contributions to strengthen our communities. Rich has received many awards and recognitions over the years, including the very prestigious 
Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award. He is a Long Islander and a graduate of New York Institute of Technology here in Brookville. Rich is a visionary, a leader, a builder, a motivator, and is evidenced by his involvement here with Smile Farms this evening. He's a giver. Thank you for all your help, Rich. I couldn't be prouder of the work we've done together to create employment, vocational, and K-12 educational opportunities for people with disabilities over the past five years. None of it would have been possible without the support of great friends like all of you. I'm so very proud of all that we've accomplished in these five years. Hi, I'm Jenna McCann Messer, and to echo my Uncle Jim, thank you for attending tonight's gala. From our home to yours, we welcome you. Through our signature philanthropic partnership with 1-800-Flowers.com, Smile Farms has had the love and support of the McCann family since day one. Smile Farms is so important to us and it's truly a family affair. And we've been fortunate to have expanded our family to include so many close friends and supporters like you. The partnership with 1-800-Flowers.com has guided Smile Farms to develop additional strategic alliances that will bear fruit for years to come. And we have so many wonderful partners. Right, Dad? Absolutely, Jenna. Our family grows each day with our wonderful partners. One of those alliances from the beginning has been our affiliation with celebrity chef Tom Colicchio of Crafted Hospitality. We're grateful that Chef Tom, in conjunction with Alexandria Real Estate Equities, collaborated with Smile Farms affiliate to initiate the first for-profit model at one of their restaurants in New York City. Additionally, they've opened their new home, Small Batch Restaurant in Garden City, New York, to our team for many wonderful meals and even a place to call home this evening. Every day we're so appreciative for Chef Tom Colicchio. He's part of the family. In the theme of family, 1-800-Flowers employees are engaged with Smile Farms far more than my brother and I could have ever imagined. You'll hear more about this unity later this evening. All things that grow start with a seed. Smile Farms was brought to life by Jim and Chris McCann of 1-800-Flowers.com, Inc. as a response to the need for paid work opportunities for people with disabilities. The glue in the McCann family is their brother, Kevin. Well, there are five of us in the McCann family, five siblings, and there were two, and then there was Kevin, and then there were two. So not only did it work out that way, birth order, but he is, you know, the cream in the Oreo, the, you know, the glue that holds us all together. And I truly believe that we're a much closer family because of Kevin, because Kevin is important to all of us. Kevin needs to be taken care of, and we share in that responsibility. And that's something that we always promised our parents we would do. He's an integral part of us, and the most important part, he made us who we are. Employment opportunities for adults with disabilities were scarce. Jim knew that he and Chris, in partnership with Independent Group Home Living, IGHL, could help. Look at the ingredients we have here. We have the talented and thoughtful people at IGHL who wanted to find work for their people because we know that work is a lot more than a paycheck. It gives you a sense of being, a, self, a sense of self-worth, a reason to get up in the morning, and it's social. And you have us who wanted to engage our people and unleash their talents and put their efforts, all these terrific, bright young people at 1-800-Flowers. You take the McCann family who's long had an interest in creating things that are of value to my brother Kevin and those in his community. And then you attract the very talented board of directors and a team at Smile Farms. You put all those ingredients together and then we say, what else can we do? How do we engage the community? How do we bring in business leaders and the restaurants we work with, the Tom Calicchios of this world? You put those ingredients together, you can't help but have a success. Smile Farms has blossomed from a single greenhouse operation into a robust 501c3 nonprofit organization employing over 140 individuals with disabilities across eight campuses and counting. Smile Farms also creates vocational and educational opportunities at local farms, urban gardens, and greenhouses, where hundreds of children and adults with different abilities grow and sell flowers, plants, and produce in the communities where they live. Our goal, obviously, is to have as many people as possible be employed in the real world. So the job here is just the first step to getting them to that place. There are jobs available for them, they just have to be prepared and be ready to take on that responsibility. 
Smile Farms is certainly growing, but there's more on the horizon. As the signature philanthropic partner of 1-800-Flowers.com, Inc., Smile Farms benefits from their expertise. The partnership with 1-800-Flowers has guided Smile Farms to develop sustainable strategic alliances that will continue to flourish much into the future. Growing and selling products and staying within the community is what we're all about. Relationships and partnerships are the key to any successful program. Smile Farms is blessed to have so many supportive friendships. A great friend to Smile Farms is celebrity chef Tom Colicchio of Crafted Hospitality. Kevin, uh, who was a member of the Smile Farms team, worked with us at River Park at our, our restaurant farm. And you know, every single day he showed up to work just bursting with pride. Um, and these are the stories that uh, uh, just show the success that um, Smile Farms has, you know, because it's not only uh, about the work, it's about the dignity that comes along with the job. Uh, and even now, um, we are using Smile Farms produce at our restaurant in Garden City Small Batch. Smile Farms employees take great pride in knowing their lovingly tended produce is an integral part of Chef Colicchio's menus and at the bar with the inclusion of Smile Farms branded hot sauce in a specialty cocktail. Smile Farms' first signature product, Burnability Hot Sauce, a delicious and sustainable social enterprise, grew from an idea at the Smile Farms campus at League Education and Treatment Center in Brooklyn. When we ran into Smile Farms, it was uh, tremendously fortunate because it was the opportunity to then partner and build a farm on an old playground that um, we had that was in disuse. And in fact, a couple of us one weekend including some Smile Farm volunteers and some 1-800-Flower volunteers, went down there with a couple of pneumatic hammers and some pickaxes and knocked down the old playground. The fact that 1-800-Flowers realized that there was a great opportunity to serve communities all across Long Island and New York and this country with various Smile Farm locations is, it, is an acknowledgement of the spirit and the intent of the McCanns to be able to say to society, we care about everyone, not just our customers and our employees, which, which they do, but they care about society in general, and that includes a lot of people with disabilities. As we grow, we'll never lose sight of our mission. Your support and commitment to Smile Farms doesn't just yield produce, it cultivates confidence, nurtures pride, and nourishes souls. Thank you for your generosity. The work that's being done is so very inspiring. You know, they say working in the garden is good for the soul, right? Well, you know what else is good for the soul? Giving. And lucky you, now is your chance to feel really good. If you're able to do so, please donate to support our Smile Farmers. Our fantastic Smile auction is open until 8.30, so please remember to place your bids to win some incredible items. You know, the holidays are coming up, so let us help you with your gift planning. Well, as Jim said, Jen heads the Smile Farm team, so it's my honor to introduce Jennifer Carpenter Lowe. Thank you, Raphael. We feel so lucky to have not just the one-time, but two-time Emmy Award-winning meteorologist for NBC4 New York with us again to celebrate Smile Farms. I'd also like to thank our wonderful, tireless chairman, Jim McCann, and behind the scenes, our champion, Mary Lou McCann. To Chris McCann, the 1-800-Flower Senior Leadership Team, and all our talented 1-800-Flowers colleagues, thank you for everything you do every day. A special thanks to the stellar planning committee who have made this evening possible. It's now my honor to highlight the Farmer of the Year Award recipient this evening. The Farmer of the Year is an individual who demonstrates dedication, pride in his or her work, and the desire to make a difference. It is Smile Farm's pleasure to present this award to Keith Caputo, founder of Helping Makes You Happy. Keith created this charitable organization to demonstrate how every human is capable of making a difference through volunteering and inspire others to make an impact in their community with the belief that doing good not only helps the lives of the less fortunate, but their lives as well. Congratulations to Keith. Hi, 
My name is Tika Pearl. I want to thank Smile from so, so much for letting me be the flower born man of the year. I want to thank my family, my friends, my staff, and I want to thank my community and my grandpa passed away in January 2009. It was my best friend. I love my grandpa so much. But my grandpa is in heaven, is looking down on me, is proud of me. I'm proud of the people that behind the scene. Thank you, you have a great day. Before we go on, I'd like to give a warm thanks to our premier sponsors, Bill Hartnett and the talented team at Cahill, Gordon and Rydell, a terrific law firm who has done so much for Smile Farms and has been a partner to us for over five years now. Thank you, Bill. Paula and Tom McInerney, new members of the Smile Farms community uh, and wonderful leaders in their community in so many ways. Rich Daly and Broadridge, our honoree this evening, you have brought Smile Farms many new friends from across the tri-state area, and we are thankful for Broadridge's generosity tonight and always. Brian Hull, Chris Amo, Sharon Sager, and the team at UBS. UBS has long supported Smile Palms, but their commitment to our mission this evening has been unparalleled. The talented team at Eventsful, led by Deborah Morris. Deb has been a friend for, of ours for many years, and if you've been to any of our family events, weddings at all, you've seen her trademark energy and creativity in action. Uh, to Diane and uh, uh, to our Diamond sponsors, uh, first and foremost, Frank Marzano and his talented team at GM Advisory Group. Frank is a founding member of the board and a great friend to, to Smile Farms. We are so thankful for, for the support of his team and the support they lend to Smile Farms all year round. Uh, the, uh, uh, next, I'd like to point out my brother Chris McCann and the team at 1-800-Flowers. Smile Farms would not be anywhere near where it is today without the support of the wonderful, caring, and talented volunteers and, and professional management at uh, 1-800-Flowers. John Cunningham and the Alexandria Real Estate Equities Team, our partner in creation of the River Park Farm Campus, last year's Spring Benefit Honoree, and one of the most generous supporters of ours for many, many years. And a special thanks to our Platinum Level sponsors. The folks at Scott's Miracle Grow Company. They are a wonderful team of people who have generously renewed their support for our benefit this year. I also want to say a special thank you to our gold sponsors. Lastly, I want to thank and recognize the extraordinary work of the Smile Farms team. Jennifer Lowe, Rebecca Tillman, Diana Martin, and Laura Hoopin. We are so thankful for all your hard work and dedication. And to our distinguished and ever supportive board, Alec McCauley, Michelle Dolbury, Paul Lightfoot, Jay Scanzaroli, and Frank Marzano. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your support. It does take a village, and this is a very special village indeed. Good evening. I'm Michelle Thompson Dolbury, Vice President, Head of Global Campus and Diversity Recruiting at American Express and Smile Farms Vice President of the Board. The Smile Farms Corporate Champion Award was created to pay tribute to companies that celebrate the contributions of employees with disabilities. These incredible corporations recognize the value of an inclusive workforce where everyone can participate and succeed. Our 2020 Corporate Champion Award recipient is GM Advisory Group Wealth Management in recognition of their commitment to establishing a corporate culture of responsibility, community service, and giving back. GM Advisory Group focuses on responsible relationships, which ultimately empower the communities in which we live and work. Their team, headed by founder and managing principal, Frank Marzano, identifies causes that they are passionate about and chooses to support nonprofit organizations that make tangible differences in the world. Frank is a founding member of the Smile Farms Board and our treasurer and chief compliance officer. The engaged and inspired talent that at GM Advisory Group have dedicated themselves to working closely with Smile Farms to help us navigate our growth. We are proud to present the Corporate Champion Award to GM Advisory Group. 
GoodWorks is GM Advisory Group's commitment to our community. We identify causes that we're passionate about, usually with our internal team members or also with our clients. Um, many times these causes are nonprofit organizations that really invest in our community. And Smile Farms is one of those organizations. We are incredibly proud to be a partner with Smile Farms. One of GM Advisory Group's core values is responsible relationships. And we've extended that value to some of the charitable endeavors that we support, like Smile Farms. We've been involved in Smile Farms since the beginning, uh, and it's been extremely, extremely rewarding to see how it's grown over the years into, from a vision to a full force charity that is doing great things for the community. GM Advisory Group is proud to support the hardworking farmers at Smile Farms. What a perfectly inspiring example. It's now my pleasure to recognize a distinguished and accomplished member of the Long Island philanthropic landscape. As Jim previously mentioned, Richard J. Daly is being honored here tonight in recognition of the significant charitable impact he has made on behalf of the community. Rich is a director of the SIFMA Foundation, its financial literacy program that serves 600,000 students a year through a simulated stock market game. He's also the founding treasurer of the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Suffolk County, Inc., and now serves as honorary director. The Smile Farm family is so thankful to have him on the team, one of our dear friends. It's a real privilege for me to be here with you with Smile Farms tonight. Let me first start by congratulating my fellow honorees, Frank Marzano as the corporate honoree, and Keith Caputo, Smile Farm's first ever Farmer of the Year. Really cool stuff. Almost four decades ago, I became very involved with causes for children. It started when my wife and I had our first child 37 years ago. Having a family is what it's been all about for us since that time. The thing we all want for ourselves, and more importantly for our children, is for each to be able to achieve a sense of significance. That's why organizations like Smile Farms are so, so important. Think about it. We all want to feel like we're contributing. We all have a need to belong. We all have a need for a reason to get up in the morning. And for so many people with disabilities, that just can't happen. Smile Farms makes that happen. So, I am really, really urging you to think about how blessed we all are, to think about how important family is, and to think about, wouldn't this be a great time to go to the hip and make a contribution? Listen, I've loved Harry and David long before Jim and Chris bought it. My favorite is the pairs. That's not what tonight is all about. Tonight's about making a difference in someone's life who won't have a life unless we do. Please think about that. Please give. Thank you for your consideration. Hi, Dan. I'm happy to be here to tell you how proud we all are of you. Thank you for leading by example and showing us how important it is to give back to the community. You have always had a special place in your heart for children and those with special needs. You've done countless acts to build others up, and I know how much you are honored and humbled to be in the position to do so. This passion has been passed on to your children and grandchildren. We strive to follow in your footsteps and couldn't be happier to be at this event for Smile Farms. Dad, congratulations on such a well-deserved recognition from Smile Farms. Volunteering and giving back has always been something very important to you and it has become such a meaningful and rewarding experience in our lives. I know Erin and I both hope to instill these same values in our children and have learned so much from the example you have set for us. We love you. When you're down and troubled 
you need some love and care And nothing, oh, nothing is going right Close your eyes and think of me And soon I will be there To brighten up even your darkest night You just call out my name And you know wherever I am I'll come running To see you again Winter, spring, summer, fall All you have to do is call And I'll be there, yes I the Vice President of Enterprise SEO and Partnerships at 1-800-Flowers.com, Inc. During his many years of encouraging neighborliness for adults and children alike, Mr. Rogers famously shared, when I was a boy and I would see the scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find the people who are helping. Tonight we celebrate the helpers in our Smile Farms family, our community heroes. Please welcome Will Jontree, Key Account Manager of Business Gifting at 1-800-Flowers.com. It is my pleasure to recognize Smile Farms dedicated and longtime volunteer, Dr. George Gabernikov. Not only does George embody true generosity of spirit as a Smile Farms benefactor and ambassador, but he also served on the front lines at NYU Langone Health, NYU Winthrop Hospital throughout the COVID-19 crisis. As a renowned cardiologist, George spends his days taking care of other people's hearts. 
but tonight we are proud to recognize his kind and caring heart with the Healthcare Hero Award. Smile Farm's next award recipient is dedicated board member and Bright Farm's founder and president, Paul Lightfoot. Bright Farm's mission is to provide access to the freshest, most responsibly grown local produce to improve the health of more Americans. Bright Farms reacted swiftly in response to the COVID-19 pandemic by increasing production capacity, protecting the health and safety of their employees, and donating a portion of its sales to local food banks in the markets they serve. Paul's dedication to Smile Farms' mission and his sustainable, socially responsible business model sets the bar high for others to follow. Smile Farms is proud to present Paul Lightfoot with the Food and Security Hero Award. Hey, it's John Tesh. I want to thank you all for inviting me to be a part of this celebration. And I send a huge congratulations from all of us here in Los Angeles to you, Rich Daly. As Jim mentioned, we are great friends. Maybe it's because we're both Long Island boys, or perhaps it's because we were in rival heavy metal bands in the 1960s. In any case, Jim has been a mentor of mine for a while now, and he has been a huge encouragement to me and my business. Jim has, of course, always found a way to live a purpose-driven life. You know that. And I'm just honored to be inspired by his relentlessness. So it's my pleasure now to support Smile Farms from my home this evening. Smile Farms is such a special organization, and I want you to know that Connie and I are honored to be able to get involved as gold sponsors tonight. Please fund a farmer tonight. You will be helping out my friends. Thank you. And now for a special treat, please welcome the Smile Farms family tradition and Hampton Calloway, Tony-nominated pop jazz singer-songwriter from her home in Arizona, and her sister in New York, Liz Calloway, Tony-nominated Broadway starring singer, to perform from their family to yours, the Sisters Calloway. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for joining us to celebrate and support Smile Farms. Now, for those of you who don't know us, I'm Anne. I'm Liz. And, and we're, we're sisters. sisters. Hit it, Alex. I hope you have something delicious to drink. Light the candles. Get the ice out. Roll the rug. And though it's far from the first of the year, I know that this very minute has history in it. We're here. It's the time for making merry. And so I'm for making hay to the ground up dance your shoes off strike the band up it's today it's today it's today People always say 
Life is full of choices. No one ever mentions fear or how the world can seem so vast on a journey to the waiting. Years of dreams just can't be wrong. Arms will open wide. I'll be safe and wanted. Finally home where I belong. Well, starting now, I'm learning fast on this journey. to close the duet portion of this evening with a beautiful song by Stephen Sondheim. To us, this song so beautifully captures the spirit of nurturing and dreaming and possibilities. So thank you for all that you are doing, both at Smile Farms and everywhere in your lives. Are you ready, Maestro? Something is stirring, shifting ground, it's just begun. Hatches are blurring all around, and yesterday is done. Feel the flow, hear what's happening, we're what's happening. Don't you know, we're the movers and we're the shapers. We're the names in tomorrow's papers Up to us, man, to show It's our time, breathe it in Worlds to change and worlds to win Our turn, we're what's you Me and you, man, me and you Feel how it quivers on the brink everything Gives you the shivers, makes you think There's so much stuff to sing And you and me will be singing it like the birds Me with music and you the words Tell them things they don't know Pal to show up. Our time, breathe it in. Worlds to change and worlds to win. Our turn, we're what's new. Me and you, pal, me and you. Feel the flow. We're what's happening. Oh, all we had was that funny feeling Same 
someday we'd send them reeling. Now it looks like we can. Someday it just began. It's so And start the clock Our time coming through Me and you, pal, me and you Me and you Me and you It's our time Our time Our time Thank you so much. Wow, that was just incredible, Anne and Liz, as you always are. So it's about that time to bid you good night. I know, I know. It feels like we're just getting to know each other. But don't forget, there's still time to fund a farmer. There's also something very important I want to share with you. When you support Smile Farms, you are part of something really special. A community unwavering in their commitment to improve employment, vocational, and educational opportunities for people with disabilities. So dig around, I mean check out their website for more creative and impactful ways to support. Once again, to play the Smile Farms anthem, please welcome back Anne Hampton Calloway. I am thrilled to unveil the new, hot off the press, Smile Farms song. I was so honored to be asked to write about this beautiful place, the wonderful people involved with it, and I hope the words and music inspire you to be an even more devoted and proud family of Smile Farms. Enjoy. <laughs> I want to get out your big lighters in a little while because we're really going to celebrate hard. Everyone deserves to have a chance to do something worthwhile. A job that gives them meaning, that brings their lives a smile. There's a family Smile. 